What's up, guys? Matthew Anthony from Perfect Driver Music here with another tech tip for Sonic Academy. This one is pretty darn cool. We're going to talk about an external instrument and uh, how it affects the LFO tool triggered by MIDI. So you guys are probably all familiar with Steve Duda's LFO tool. Uh, we're going to be working with uh, the kick and the bass, and we're going to be talking about how the LFO tool can be used to uh, sidechain. Okay, I like using LFO tool because it's very uh, visual. I'm a visual guy, so I like to use my eyes along with uh, my ears. So let's just pull up LFO tool here. We're going to plop one on the bass line, and we'll plop one on the kick as well. So just to demonstrate real quick, um, it's the automatic setting is basically a side chain, uh, the, the default. So if I were to play this bass line here, normally with house music, <clears throat> you've got four kicks. One, here's the MIDI up here. One, two, three, four. Um, but it gets kind of complicated if you're trying to do some side chaining. You can just leave this here on uh, one quarter. The rate can go to one quarter on your bass line. And it'll, it'll duck out just perfectly. Listen to this. I like to smooth it out. I like to smooth it out a little bit as well. So get rid of that click. So if you can imagine your kick going and it's just like moving out of the way, you know, it's, 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 it's lowering the volume here so the kick has room to breathe because you don't want your low end competing with your low end, right? The kick has a lot of low frequency and so does uh, the bass line. So you basically want the bass line to be quiet every time the kick hits, right? So what happens when you have, you know, not a 4-4 beat like boom, 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 you know, that extra kick? Um, it's going to interfere, uh, with your baseline, right? So this setting, this one quarter setting won't work when there's an extra kick, like check this out. So that extra kick, you're going to want basically this LFO tool to react every single time a kick hits. So you can do that just by clicking on note retrigger. Okay. You're going to send the information the MIDI information from this kick down to this track so it affects the bass line. So every time the kick hits, it's going to make the bass line duck out, right? So it's going to activate this volume setting. So the way to do that <clears throat> is you go to your uh, kick drum. Uh, we've got this one. I love it. I use it all the time. Thank you, Sonic Academy, for making this beautiful, beautiful VST. So yeah, um, here we go. I'm going to just do a command G, which is going to create a group, right? And it creates an instrument rack. So you group your, your kick uh, with itself, basically. And what that allows you to do is you can start plopping in other instruments. And one of those things is called an external instrument. And what that does, um, that's going to allow you to send your MIDI <clears throat> to the bass line, right? It's important to note that that won't even show up until you put LFO tool on your baseline. So make sure LFO tool is there first, and then you're going to dive in. And um, let's just uh, rename this baseline, and we'll make it orange just to make things nice and neat. So cool. Every time it's going to take this MIDI information, this external instrument is going to take this MIDI information, and it's going to route it to your baseline, right? Number two. And now all you have to do is go to your baseline and then in the LFO tool, you just click note retrigger and you're gonna see visually this, this line is gonna move every single time um, the kick hits, right? So you can see it right here. The line jumps pretty quick. Um, let's turn the, the kick on, just let everything play out here, see how it sounds.
Cool, right? So that's pretty awesome. That's it for that. And also, let's jump into this and do something a little different here. I like to sculpt my kick. Uh, you can do a great job sculpting your kick within um, the VST plugin. However, I like to oftentimes throw an extra exterior instrument on. And we'll just call this one, I don't know, this track, because we're going to send the MIDI information to itself. So it's going to come out of here, and it's going to come right back in. Uh, mm -mm -mm. Here's the LFO tool on my kick. And this is how I like to do it. Um, I'm going to sculpt my kick a little bit, but I'll add another note here. See if I don't screw this up. You don't want to hit smooth on this because it'll take away the attack of your uh, kick. Works fine on the baseline, though, in my opinion. So here we go. Let's see if we can't route the information. I'm going to click note retrigger here. That means that it's going to react every single time it hears its own MIDI information. So this track, let's open you up. Where are we sending it to? We're going to send it to itself. All right, cool. Nice. So every single time this kick fires, it's going to activate this LFO tool. And you can shorten the length of your kick, for instance. And the reason I find this handy is if you look at this and this, combine the two of them, it shows you along with like using your, let's say you don't have like really awesome low end on your uh, monitor speakers at home, or you just have headphones or something, whatever. You can't really uh, dial in deeply to the low end, right? Because you just can't hear it or everything sounds maybe jumbled up. You can visually see, okay, the low end of the kick is not going to interfere with my baseline because look at this these are the volume envelopes and it's just it's just not going to happen so there's no way you can be like overlapping so yeah i mean use it in conjunction with your monitors if you've got good monitors but if you don't uh you know this is kind of like a workaround right so let's play both yeah that pretty much does it i mean you can experiment with these right and just So there you go. That pretty much does it. Thanks guys for tuning in and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.